What's up everybody? It's your boy the noob. Today I want to talk to you about a manga that I've recently come across and I have really enjoyed it. The title of this one is called Mazumeshi Elf no Yaboku Gorushi. I will put that in the comments below for those who want to look up this manga. Now this of course is an isekai because you know me, I love isekais, but it's one of those simple isekais, the simple, the calm, the quiet, the not after the demon lore ones, the one where the biggest threat to our main character is the food that the people cook in this world. Your main character is Suzuki Saburu. Now he is your average uh, typical high schooler teenage boy. Uh, he used to be on the baseball team, but after breaking his arm, he couldn't play sports anymore, so he started having a hobby of cooking, taking care of the team, stuff like that, and he became really good at it. Well, one day when he was cooking and he was went to go get some ingredients from a uh, refrigerator, he suddenly found himself transported to another world. Now, unlike most uh, Isekai stories, he wasn't transported somewhere normal. He was actually transported in basically a very large ass prairie. Think somewhere between Nevada and like the grassy lands of Ohio. You know, somewhere kind of in there. But there was like nobody around for him to talk to. So lo and behold, he is walking around trying to find people. And after three days of walking around, not eating, not really having any water, of course, like anyone else, the motherfucker passes out. Luckily for him, he was saved because a passing nomad of elves found him. This is where something is a little different. When most elves are talked about in most of these animes and stories, what do you think of? You always think of the elves that are in the trees, in the forest, you know, high up in the air. No, 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 no. In this story, your main nomad elves are, basically, they live in this prairie. They kind of remind me of, like, the old Native Americans. Uh, they live in, uh, big tents that uh, families live in. They all eat together, stuff like that. So, you know, these are not your typical elves. After waking up from being saved, he gets to meet the two young ladies who saved him, Popo and Pepe. Now, these two nomadic elves are part of this elf family. They are the ones who found him, the ones that brought him in, the ones that make sure to bring his knife that he had with him because he carries a cooking knife on him. And, you know, they wanted to, to uh, you know, save this person. And they welcome him into the family because they could tell right off the bat he's downstrot, he doesn't know where he is, he seems to be lost, he doesn't have anyone, so they say, you know what, <laughs> you're gonna come stay with us. And you can be part of our tribe. Now, of course, remember how I said that he hadn't eaten in three days? Well, his stomach does the most comedic thing that you ever see in any anime and manga. It gives the loudest growl announcing that he is hungry. Popo, she decides, hey, let me go cook you a meal real quick. I know you're hungry. I can pop one out real quick. And he's like, cool, I'm gonna get some food and all that. But then he watches how she cooks. And as someone who cooks myself, it is horrifying. I mean, terrible. They use um, animal feces to, for fire and sh uh, they handle it by hand and they don't wash their hands afterwards. When they uh, are dealing with meat, they like uh, roughly chop it in large pieces, throw it in a bowl to boil it. And if you've ever done that with meat, you know how it gets like that scummy film on the top and you're supposed to throw that out? Nope, they don't throw that out. They don't even peel their vegetables. They like roughly chop them, throw them in, stem, skim, all that, no, no. And then they throw in other ingredients. They don't add salt. They don't add any seasonings at all. And then they throw uh, flour in there to just thicken it. This is the meal that they eat twice a day, every day, all days. Nothing different. And now, Subaru, he's trying to be nice. He's like, okay, you know what? They're elves. Elves are supposed to be magical. Maybe if I eat this, they made it delicious. And the look on this boy's face tells you right out, this stuff tastes like shit. So after... After he eats that and after he recovers, they know dinner's about to happen, so he decides, hey, you know what, let me, let me make you something. Let me, let me, uh, you know, for saying thank you, let me make you something. And now he goes through the process of making food for them. And now the funny part is that he does things like he's taught to, you know, when they're, when he breaks up bones and puts them in the thing so he can make stock, which they don't understand. You know, why you make it tiny and all that. When he minces up the meat real tiny, they're afraid it's going to disappear. When he throws out the scum, they are freaking out because he, to them, uh, he's wasting food. And like, when he really thinly does the vegetables, they're afraid it's going to disappear in the water. He is doing everything that he's normally taught, and they are freaking out. But, the thing is, when he finally 
delivers this food to them and they try it. They are amazed by what they have eaten. He tells them that this is delicious, a word that they don't seem to have in this world. So luckily for them, he is there and he is introducing these people to the word delicious, to all types of food. And I'm not talking about just your basic food. No, no. We've got boiled goiza, we got yaki udon, we got cheese, we got syrup, we got alcohol, all these different things. He shows them how to make it, how they are being wasteful and not enjoying the food that they have. And that's the whole thing about this manga, is just him introducing the foods on this. And throughout feeding all the people, not, not only the elven tribe, but the merchants that he meets, the other tribes that he meets, the other people that he interacts with, he gets to meet so many other people. He meets a fellow earthling who is from Britain, but for some reason has elf ears. He meets a young earthling that's a boy, but apparently he comes from time before uh, Subaru was born. There's a cat, uh, cat people tribe. There's a spider lady who eventually joins their group. There are dwarves that he meets. These are all these people that he introduces delicious food to, and each one reacts to it like it's the most amazing thing they've ever been introduced to. Now, I love this because the food, food is the main thing. E yes, we know Subaru, Popo, and Pepe are the three main characters of this story, but they are not the main focus. The main focus is the food. You have so many people who are just throwing things together and making mush. It's edible, it's got the nutrients, but it's not tasty. But he is showing them how you can take the same ingredients with just a little bit of tweaking and you can have the most amazing food there is. And I love that about this story. And the other thing that I do love about this is several of the foods that he does teach in this, they show you a simple guide on how it's made. They don't give you exact measurements or anything, but they give you the basic understanding of how this food is made. So if you're interested in something that you see in this manga, you can actually look it up, follow this, and you know, tweak it until it's as you like it. And I, for one, love mangas that teach you things that are actually useful in your life. Now, so far, this manga is still ongoing as I know of. We've had a lot of interesting uh, people come in, but we still don't know how he's going to get home, if he's going to get home, or what's going to happen in his future, and I just want to see that because, God damn it, I've loved some of the food in this, and I really want to make some of it that I've read in this manga, and I hope when you read this, you'll want to make some of that food too. Well, folks, that's my manga I wanted to introduce you to this week. What do you think? Are you interested in some of the food that is in this manga? Do you think that you might want to try cooking this, or are you like the elves who just threw everything together and didn't know how to make the beautiful flavors come out of your food, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, folks, I'm the noob. Thank you for joining me, and I'll catch y'all next time. See ya!